Today I'm going to show you how to test a knock sensor. So I have the knock sensor here. This is the knock sensor. Yes, this is the knock sensor. So we have two type of knock sensor. We have the one that has direct wire, which is very long, and we have a short one that connected with the socket. So this is the connection I have done. I don't have the pins here, but I have tried. So this is what I have done. So this is the knock sensor for Toyota. A knock sensor function is to detect knocking or pinging abnormal combustion that occurs when the air frame is stuck in the engine cylinder ignite prematurely, causing a knocking sound. This knocking can be damage the engine over time. However, knock sensor monitors vibrate in the engine caused by the knocking and send signals to the engine control unit, which adjust the ignition timing to prevent further knocking by regarding slowing down the timing or adjusting fuel delivery. The ECU can prevent engine damage, improve efficiency and what optimize okay so engine without knock sensor or without a knock sensor an engine would be what vulnerable to damage from knocking potential leading to reduce performance fuel fluor fuel efficiency and what costly repair so make sure all the time to fix your knock sensor and make sure it's accurate and it's working so those that don't know the important and the main purpose of knock sensor some of the engines have been connected, some mechanics and techniques have been disconnected knock sensor, which is not good. So to test it, you have to turn the multimeter towards the arms position. So we have ohms here, we have voltage, and then we have arms. Here is the resistance distance. So I have turned it towards 200 amps, milliamps, 200 amps this is how we are going to test it and we are going to knock we are going to knock so let's knock and see how it will read so you can see that means this knock sensor is good and that is how it works it calculates the word fuel ratio and the performance for the engine this is how it is you'll be knocking and at the same time it's giving you the reading so this is how knock sensor work on engine if you do it this way and it doesn't give you any reading that means what the knock sensor is not good so let's also check the ohms or the resistance to see whether it can give us a reading or not so I am knocking it so the resistance is 196,000.9 so this is how knock sensor works it is working and this is how it works on the engine so don't joke with your knock sensor if you know this video is helpful to you make sure to hit the subscribe button and also share put your comment below and click the notification bell icon to stay updated when we upload new videos so hello fam are you looking forward to own your own car or you have been looking for a car on the internet or you want to order a car and it has been a burden the time is here for you to own your car without stress GY Trading Company is here to help you get your dream car right to your doorstep. Relax and take a look at some of their cars. And when you are done, I'll give you their contacts. Plus 81905647. 0-9. Contact them now and your car will be at your doorstep. You 
how to buy a local used car or uh, let me put in this way how to buy a Ghanaian used car how to check them things you have to do things you have to inspect what to know and how you can even do about it before you can able to proceed payment so this is a good question coming from a uh, uh, subscriber how can you purchase a Ghanaian used uh, commercial car what are you supposed to check before you buy where to buy and the last but not the least how to maintain it thank you this is a very good question these are the things you have to do and i'm going to show you in this video i'm not going to i mean do anything but demonstrate it in this video so we are going to use this car though we are buying it but i'm still going to i mean show you take you to tour and show you things that you have to check things that you have to do and what not to do when you are purchasing a Ghanaian used car in fact whether it is a private commercial or whatever these are the basic requirements you have to check and let's get into the video go for